A bricklaying robot has broken its own record laying 200 bricks in just one hour. Meet the Hadrian X. The machine is made by an Australian company called Fast Brick Robotics, or FBR for short. For reference, human bricklayers typically lay 300 to 500 bricks per day, with the record being an astonishing 914 bricks in just one hour. The Hadrian X's 200 bricks per hour may sound slow in comparison, but it's not using ordinary bricks. These are made special for the Hadrian X by FBR and they're 12 times larger than standard house bricks. FBR says that its specially made bricks are lighter, stronger, and will minimize waste. But the Hadrian X isn't limited to these special bricks. It can also be used with standard bricks in a range of different sizes. The adhesive that joins the bricks is also an FBR original, drying and setting in 45 minutes as opposed to mortar, which can take one to two days to set. To compensate for wind, vibrations, and other natural disturbances which may disrupt the bricklaying process, the Hadrian X uses something called dynamic stabilization technology to remain steady and precise. For ease of transport, the Hadrian X is seen here mounted to a truck, but FBR says that its bricklaying robot could also be mounted to boats, barges, cranes, and more. FBR's website claims that the Hadrian X could build the walls of a home in one to three days, and that each robot could build the walls of 100 to 300 homes a year in the right conditions. Human technicians and operators are needed to set up and feed bricks into the Hadrian X, but once it's up and running, it is fully autonomous, using 3D models to guide its brick placement. The Hadrian X bricklaying robot isn't commercially available yet, but this bricklaying robot is. Meet the SAM 100, made by Construction Robotics. This 3,000 pound semi-automated mason was the first commercially available bricklaying robot and has been laying bricks on construction sites for a few years now. The SAM 100 is primarily used for what is called veneer masonry, meaning these bricks aren't going to be holding up the weight of the structure being built. Like the Hadrian X, the SAM 100 works off a 3D model, but unlike the Hadrian X, the SAM 100 only works in straight lines with human masons placing the bricks on the corners. The SAM 100 usually works in conjunction with three to four people, but that number can vary depending on the specifics of the job. The SAM 100 works with a range of different brick sizes, including standard bricks from eight to 12 inches, as well as cut bricks down to just four inches. If you've got a project that requires larger building blocks, Construction Robotics has a machine for that too, called the Mule. The Mule's Lift Assist technology aims to help construction workers lift large blocks between 135 and 150 pounds with ease. And unlike the SAM 100, the Mule allows masons to place blocks with their own hands, just without the strain of having to lift it themselves. While it is likely that the SAM 100 will reduce the number of masons required for a job, Construction Robotics says the goal of this technology is not to replace human workers, but to improve productivity, safety, and health. With all the heavy lifting and specialized knowledge required in the field of masonry, Construction Robotics hopes its technology can help new masons start laying bricks faster and stay healthy longer by protecting them from repetitive stress injuries that can often occur on the job. If you're wondering how much these bricklaying robots cost, the Hadrian X doesn't have pricing information available yet. But you can get pricing info on the SAM 100 and Mule machines by contacting Construction Robotics directly over at construction-robotics.com. What do you think of these bricklaying robots? Let us know down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orrell. Stay safe out there, everybody.